What's up, everybody? This is Bruce, aka Geektacular. Today, I've got another unboxing for you. Today, we're going to be unboxing the brand new Mill Creek Ultraman release on Blu ray, uh, which is the Ultraman Zero collection. So, this is actually a collection of it's, uh, it's not actually a series like most of their releases, like a whole season of a show, but it's actually four different um, films slash uh, television specials that all feature Ultraman Zero. So um, this is part of their um, newer releases. So if you're unfamiliar, um, Mill Creek Entertainment, that company there, actually um, a couple years ago got all the rights to release all the Ultraman content in North America. So they've been putting those out on Blu-ray for the first time here. Um and they're putting out all the original series from, like, the 70s and 80s and that kind of stuff. But at the same time, they've also simultaneously been putting out a bunch of the newer seasons, too, because Ultraman is still an ongoing show. So um, this collection here is part of the sort of newer end of the spectrum there. Um, these are all from about 2010 to about 2012. Um, so that's sort of where this fits into the timeline. They all feature Ultraman Zero, which is sort of why they're all packaged together here. Um, and they were just kind of like random movies and TV specials that I guess they didn't really want to fit into like the full series and all that kind of stuff. So they went ahead and they just packaged up um, kind of four of the major uh, movies and TV specials that feature Ultraman Zero and just put them kind of in one Blu-ray collection here. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, this just came out. I just got this today, so I'm pretty psyched about that. Um, let me just show you the artwork here on the front. They always really come through with the artwork. Um, they use, uh, a lot of times they use kind of composites of sort of screenshots from the show, plus sort of brand new stylized artwork and stuff, and kind of combine it together to for something really unique. So, yeah, um, this is really cool. And on the side here, this is kind of a little bit different than what they usually do, but they actually have the logo for each of the four individual um, movies slash specials. Um that are in this release, kind of each uh, on the spine there, plus the Mill Creek logo. So that's, um, so this is Ultraman, Ultra Galaxy Legend, um, Ultraman Zero versus Darklop Zero. This one is Ultraman Zero, The Revenge of Belial. This one is Ultraman Zero, Killer the Beat Star. I believe is what that uh, says. It's kind of hard to read the uh, font right there, but it says it, uh, yeah, Killer the Beat Star right there. And then uh, Ultraman Saga from 2012. I think the rest of these three are all from around 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this spine is the same, so these two spines match. And then here's the back. It's got a little window cut out for the UPC code there. And then here's all the information on the back, if you're interested in taking a look at this. So this is about eight and a half hours of content here. Video, audio. So just like the other releases, um, this has a 1080p uh, video with the original Japanese DTS HD Master Audio Stereo, um, along with the English um, subtitles. But this one, actually for two of the four of these, so Ultraman Zero, The Revenge of Belial, and uh, Ultraman Saga, those both actually have the English dubs, which is pretty rare. Um, some, a lot of the Mill Creek releases don't have any English dubs. So this is kind of, um, this is kind of cool that they included those. Um, for the most part, their Ultraman releases tend to just be the original Japanese audio with English subtitles. Um, but it, they do have dubs for two of the four things here, which is pretty cool. Um, if you want to pause and read any of that, you're welcome to, but it kind of gives you a short summary of each of the, um, each of the specials slash movies included in this collection. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork here. And again, the artwork is just awesome, and it's really cool that it's different than the slipcover. So it's not just a case where, like, the slipcover is identical to the insert art. Um, they're actually very different um, and have lots of different content on them, which is really cool. 
So let me go ahead, the, um, the actual inner case here comes uh, shrink wrapped. So uh, let's go ahead and unpackage this here and then we can take a look at the discs and the artwork and all that um, on the actual case here. All right. Okay, so here's the artwork on the insert. Again, very cool sort of original artwork here based on um, all the characters from the four movies and specials. Then on the spine here, it's a little bit different since it's kind of the space is a little bit more limited here. They just print the names of each of the four um, movies slash specials that are included on here. They do put a little character artwork there. Um, and then here's the back. It does have some fine print here at the bottom, um, but most of the text that's on the um, slipcover here, like all that, is not included on the case. The case is just kind of sleek and mostly artwork here. So let me go ahead and open this up. And let's see. So usually this has um, a digital code in it, but I do not actually see... Uh, digital code in this one. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if it says, I guess it doesn't say it on here. So I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't list anything about a digital code on here. Um, I've kind of gotten sort of used to them all coming with a movie spree digital code, which is Mill Creek's own streaming service. Um, they're on kind of streaming locker site. Um, this one doesn't seem to have a Mill Creek um, movie spree digital code in it. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm not sure if it's supposed to or not. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to assume it's not supposed to have a code. It's, it's just the Blu-rays. Um, but if I learn anything different, um, I'll probably look it up. A lot of times I'll have to search on Reddit or something like that to kind of see what's up with some of these things. Like in one of the releases in the past, they forgot to include um, like a booklet that was supposed to come with it and things like that. So sometimes, uh, weird stuff happens, but now that I, now that I actually look at it, um, I think it usually, uh, advertises a digital code right there. And then on the slip cover, it'll give you some information about movie spree. I don't see any of that on here. So I assume this one just doesn't come with a digital code for some reason, which is kind of weird, but that's okay because you're buying the Blu-ray anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here is disc one. So it has these um, two, uh, I believe two part specials slash films here. That's on this one disc. And then this one kind of escaped its, uh, its holder right here. Just slip that back in. So the Revenge of Belial comes on its own separate Blu-ray disc here with really cool artwork. And the final disc is Ultraman Saga on its own Blu-ray disc. So yeah, very cool artwork for that as well. No inner artwork on this one, no, um, no booklet or anything like that, um, and apparently no digital code. So that's kind of a shame. I usually like when they include that. Maybe there's some reason that this isn't on Movie Spree. I don't know if there's like licensing or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I, these, I, as far as I know, this is the first time that these are out on Blu-ray um, in North America, you know, with English subtitles and all that good stuff um, in 1080p. So either way, even if it doesn't come with a digital code, you're buying the HD Blu-rays anyway. <laughs> so you can, you can watch them whenever you want. So yeah, um, that is my unboxing for the Ultraman Zero collection. I think that's what they call it on most retailers. Um is just Ultraman Zero Collection. Um, and that'll usually be referring to this release here. And this is kind of a good sort of, um, not filler, but it sort of fills out the Ultraman collection because um, some of the series and things like that might not include, you know, all of the, every single special or related film and things like that. So they occasionally need these kinds of releases sort of in between the complete series releases to sort of fill out any of the, the missing gaps between series. So yeah, this is awesome. I'm so glad that they're doing this. 
Um, they've got many more of these Ultraman releases coming down the pike as well. Both the old original series and the newer, like, 20 teen series. So definitely, if you're into tokusatsu, if you're into Ultraman, anything like that, be sure to keep an eye out for those Mill Creek releases, because um, as a Blu-ray slash DVD collector and a fan of tokusatsu myself, I know for a fact that, especially for this genre, especially for tokusatsu, if I can... Um, if I can give you any kind of useful advice um, as a collector is for these kinds of releases, you should pick them up as soon as they come out. Because unfortunately in North America, Ultraman's sort of a niche um, franchise, sort of a niche intellectual property. And there are a lot of people who are fans of Ultraman in the US in North America, but it is not like a Power Rangers level or anything like that. That sort of thing. Um, it's a very kind of specific group of people, um, like myself. So um, when a company does get the licensing and the funding and they, and they put out these really nice releases um, with English subtitles um, in North America, you know, all that kind of stuff, I would highly advise picking them up because um, it's very likely that in the future these will at some point go out of print. Um, most streaming sites probably won't house a lot of this stuff because it's not like mainstream, super mainstream stuff, you know. In America, I kind of always use um, Power Rangers as the comparison. Like, you know, Power Rangers is sort of the most popular tokusatsu thing in um, America, in the Americas. So um, I kind of compare other shows to that in terms of like how big they are. And, you know, Ultraman while important to the history of tokusatsu, um, and while very cool for the, the people who watch it know that it's cool, but it's not just, it's just not very widely, um, seen. It's not very widely known by, you know, non, uh, tokusatsu loving people. So yeah, it's, uh, it's important to note that these probably won't be in print forever. So if you're watching this in the future uh, and you want to pick this up and it's still available, it's still in print, I would advise just going ahead and picking it up. Um, you know, maybe uh, if you're not wanting to watch it right now, just leave it sealed, stick it in your collection, stick it on the shelf or something. Um, and then you might be surprised in several years from now, once Mill Creek is done releasing all the Ultraman stuff and it's all been out and, and released, that they might stop making them at some point. So I don't have any, you know, inside information or anything like that. I don't have any, you know, actual news or anything like that. But it's just a general tip. Um, if you collect re releases like this, um, definitely pick them up while they're available. Because a lot like the Power Rangers, DVDs, VR Troopers, Beetleborgs, all that kind of stuff that did come out on DVD... Um, most of them are not in print anymore. <laughs> you would think that Power Rangers being the most popular one would still be in print, but you'd be wrong. Most of the Power Rangers DVDs um, are no longer uh, in print. And a lot of them go for crazy amounts of money. Stuff that, you know, I bought for a retail price or less, um, you know, five years ago are now going for, you know, $100 plus dollars each. So, uh, yeah, just if you're into this kind of stuff, I'd advise picking it up, especially these Mill Creek releases, just because they were awesome to acquire this license and kind of see a need for this stuff. And they've been putting out all these awesome releases over the past uh, couple years, like year or two. And their releases are always really nice. They're about as nice as these shows are going to look. Um, and yeah, they do brand new artwork for them. A lot of the releases have booklets and digital codes and stuff. So there's a lot to like here. So I just wanted to mention all that, and thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. Um, and if you'd like to see more uh, DVD, Blu-ray unboxings, more stuff about Ultraman, Power Rangers, any of that kind of stuff, go ahead and click subscribe down below, and also be sure to hit that notification bell. Um, and also hit the comment section and um, let me know what releases you wish would come out or which releases are coming out uh, that you're psyched about in the near future. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll catch you next time.